How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be talking about a what if scenario. And today's what if scenario is going to be what if the New York Yankees drafted Mike Trout with a 25th overall pick in the MLB draft in 2009. So if you guys want to see some more what if videos, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know some other what if videos you guys would like to see in the future. You guys absolutely loved that what if the Miami Marlins never traded away Stanton, Yelich, Ozuna, etc. So let me know some other ones you guys would like to see. You know, things like what if the White Sox never traded Tatis Jr. away? What if the Cubs never traded Eloy Jimenez and Glaber Torres away? Stuff like that. There's definitely a lot of what ifs out there. So let me know down below. Another way to really show me that you guys are enjoying these videos, hit that like button. Because, I mean, it's, a, it's an easy, just go down, click that thumbs up. Such an easy way to show, show me you guys are enjoying this video. So let's talk about Mike Trout. Seven year career so far. We're not going to include this year so just yet. Still pretty early into the season. Two time MVP, rookie of the year winner. And in those seven years he's been in the majors, six of those years he's been first or second in voting for MVP. So already you know this guy's MVP quality, easily the best player in baseball. And if he continues this stat lineup, he definitely can be in the talks for one of the best of all time. So let's talk about those stats that he's putting up. His average over 160, like 162 game average, he's hitting 37 homers, 99 RBIs, stealing 29 bases, strikes out quite a bit, 152 um, per you know, about 162 games, but 307 average, batting average, 416 on base percentage, a 573 slugging percentage, and an OPS of 990. Those are just crazy numbers to think about. Someone's hitting 300 while they're striking out about 152 times a year. That's just unreal to think about that he can still get on base or he can still hit the ball that well while striking out that much. You know, he's homering 37 times a season hitting about 100 RBIs, stealing close to 30 bases. That's just that's just crazy to think about. So, those stat lines is just crazy to think crazy to think about like I've already said multiple times obviously. But let's take a look back at the 2009 draft. So, the Yankees had the 25th overall pick, but had to give it away for compensation for signing Mark Teixeira. Angels got the pick. And let's let's take a look at picks one through five. Number one was Steven Strasburg. The rest of the picks, one player, uh, number two, only played 140 games in the bigs. Number three didn't make it past single A. The fourth overall pick only had 156 career plate appearances. And number five didn't make it past double A. So really, when you look at the first five picks, only one of them has carved out a decent career for himself, and that's Steven Strasburg. So, when you look at the teams that passed up on Mike Trout, number two was the Mariners, number three was the Padres, number four was the Pirates, and number five was the Orioles, all of those teams could definitely use a player of Mike Trout's caliber. When you look at picks six through ten, the most notable is Zach Wheeler, and he's just now starting to find his stride in the bigs with the Mets. And again, the Braves at seven, the Reds at eight, the Tigers at nine, and the Nationals at ten probably could all use another like a player of Mike Trout's caliber you know picks 11 through 15 not even worth mentioning I don't think any of them played more than two seasons pick 16 through 20 most notable is AJ Pollock who again not a bad player but definitely not Mike Trout's caliber and then 21 through 25 25 being Mike Trout the most notable one besides him Randall Gritchick at 24 so Really, besides Steven Strasburg, every single player before Mike Trout really hasn't, you know, doesn't really excite me. I don't go, hey, I really want Randall Gritchick on my team. I, I go, hey, I want Mike Trout on my team. And 24 teams passed up on Mike Trout before he was selected in the draft. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at what if the Yankees had that 25th overall pick and take Mike Trout and put him in this Yankees lineup. So, LeMahieu, Andujar, Trout, Judge, Stanton, Glaber Torres, Gary Sanchez, Didi Gregorius, Luke Voigt. That is just 
that's a scary lineup and hands down the best in baseball. Mike Trout takes this team from possibly the best team in baseball to easily the best team in baseball. You look at that 3-4-5 spot in the lineup and you just quiver as a starting pitcher because you know just because you have Mike Trout, you may get him out. You still have to worry about Judge. You still have to worry about Stanton. It's just crazy the amount of power, the run scoring potential. This team is scary. So what we're going to do is we're going to sim like two seasons, see how Mike Trout performs, how much he contributes to the team, and see if he can continue to live up to those, you know, 30 homer seasons, 100 RBI seasons, 300 average seasons, and if you can continue that. So let's sim season one, see how things go. And I'll talk to you guys in a sec. So season one, the Yankees win the division 162, taking on the Indians in the divisional series. So let's take a look. You guys can see six games above the Red Sox, easily the number one team in baseball. And um, let's see if we won any awards for Mike Trout. Doesn't look like it. Let's take a look and see how the center fielder performed 32 homers 115 rbis um, 100 walks 134 strikeouts so he's still sitting around average for what he's been putting up for his entire career and saying average kind of sounds like he's not doing too great but this guy is an absolute animal he hit 315 419 on base percentage 612 slugging and an ops of 1.031 he absolutely killed it absolutely killed it which is just crazy to think about when you look at the four spot you had another player who hit 300 and then you have a player behind him 264 but he still delivered 116 rbis and 37 homers so again this yankees team with mike trout you're looking at your three four five hitters who hit let's see 32 58 90 95 homers between three players unreal to think about and then you think about what what Andujar added about 28 Glaber Torres added 20 Gary Sanchez 25 Luke Voigt has some power he added 19 like just a crazy amount of power to the lineup Mike Trout just makes your team so much better and just it's just crazy to see that he's still able to put up 315 average close to you know 30 plus homers, 100 plus RBIs, unreal. So let's see how the Yankees fill out or, you know, finish the season. They get knocked out, of course, with me simulating a season as the best team in baseball. We're definitely going to get knocked out for season, uh, first round of the playoffs. So we'll see how it plays out. The Nationals defeat the Red Sox. And let's hop into season two, see if things go a little bit better. See if Trout can continue to just perform at hall of fame levels the second season the yankees finished 104 and 58 taking on the winner of the wild card let's see how things finish for mike trout you guys can see a lot of league leading stats the most doubles batting average hits runs slugging percentage and on base or ops that's what he was ops silver slugger for mike trout hank aaron and that's it he didn't win MVP. So let's see what he did. 36 homers, 108 RBIs, and a 324 average. So just again, crazy numbers. 410 on base percentage, 614 slugging, and an OPS of 1.024. Just what? Who puts up numbers like this? This is just crazy to think about. 30 homers, 100 RBIs. It's just it's mental and then you got judge hitting 40 homers you got stanton hitting 30 homers all three of these guys put up over 100 rbis just really unreal numbers to think about and putting trout in there just it just makes it crazy like i would hate to see trout on the yankees because it just wouldn't be fair it would be a super team and it would just automatically be like all right well i guess they won the world series so we're going to, you know, we're going to slow our roll on these playoffs here. And we're already in a tricky situation, which is not good. Down at 2-0 facing elimination. So let, let's quick manage it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can keep this season alive. 
with the Yankees. And uh, it's not looking like it. Definitely kind of quiet on our end. So can we do something with this? Oh, base is loaded. Three run score. Okay, okay. Trout is 0 for 2 on the day, which is not good. Definitely not good to see. We need to see him produce some runs. He's got to be part of this. There's a double. RBI double, I believe it was. So this game is basically over. I'm going to let the CPU handle it. 7 to 4. Perfect. Can they keep it going? All right. And Yankees eliminated. Perfect. But we'll take a look. See how Mike Trout did in the playoffs. 263 average, two homers, and five RBIs. I didn't want to get too in-depth on the quick manage aspect of the playoffs. I more wanted to focus on the fact that Mike Trout comes into this Yankees lineup and not only makes them the best team in baseball hands down, it makes it the scariest 3-4-5 spot in any lineup between him, Judge, and Stanton. You got a young and up-and-coming player with Gleyber Torres, Miguel Andujar, Gary Sanchez, Luke Voigt's finally like showing that he's at the age of what, 28, 29, he's going to be a very good power hitting first baseman. This is a very scary lineup. And obviously things would have to change with Mike Trout's contract. Judge going to be getting paid. Stanton's already getting paid. A lot of young players who have a lot of, you know, potential, a lot of good ability already. So you're going to have to pay them. But it's the Yankees. They always find a way to come up with money. They have the money to do that. And I think that having Mike Trout in this lineup would just, it would be unfair. And I definitely think with Judge, Stanton, and all these other good hitters around Trout, he would continue to hit 300, 100 RBIs plus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this what if. It's a short one. It's only two seasons. But at the age of 28, you know, Mike Trout is probably going to break 300 homers. He's going to be close to 250 stolen bases-ish. You're looking at a player who's probably going to hit four, five, maybe even 600 homers in his career. Definitely stealing more than 300 bases. He is hands down going to be, if he continues this up, one of the best players in baseball history. And we're, we're watching it. And that's one of the coolest things ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's What If. If you did, hit that like button down below. Like I said, that's the easiest way to show me that you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And leave a comment for what what if video you would like to see next. I'll catch you all in the next, the next one. Peace. I just like the sound.